today's topic is engineering materials for civil engineering job preparation series first introduction first question is define engineering materials state the factors affecting the selection of engineering engineering materials generally any material which has got application in engineering construction is termed as engineering materials there is lot of factors like availability of material economy ease of handling and fabrication strength durability workability then next question is what is property and is there different types of properties in engineering materials here the property is a quality that defines a specific characteristics of a material is termed as a property properties of engineering material there are physical uh, properties such as size shape density porosity structure then mechanical properties also strength elasticity plasticity stiffness ductility malleability hardness brittleness resistance grip etc and then chemical properties also corrosion resistance acidity alkalinity chemical composition and then thermal properties specific heat thermal expansion conductivity etc and also magnetic properties permeability cohesive force hysteresis and now electrical properties conductivity uh, conductivity dielectric permeability dielectric strength etc now sometimes uh, sometimes a short form of some word have to uh, elaborate uh, first one is bds uh, is a bangladesh standard then bsdi <coughs> bangladesh standards and testing institution bsi british standard institute then astm american society of testing material aso aso american association of state highway official that is old name of astho and new name is american association of state highway transportation officials aci american concrete institute aisc american institute of steel construction aws american welding society usda united state department of agriculture uscs united soil classification system a next question is what is stress and explain different types of stress so what is stress simply we know force by area is our stress and unit is pascal or newton per meter square types of stress there are, uh, for normal stress there are two types tensile stress as compressive stress in figure we see in tension and bar in compression and for combined stress there are also two types of stress shear stress and torsional stress here in the middle for single shear and double shear and also torsional twisting stress now what is strain and explains different types of strain now you know strain is defined as the deformation per unit length where del l by l is the uh, del l is the change of the length of the body and l equal to original length of the body and types of strain also there are uh, um, four types tensile strain which is elongation in length and also compressive strain 
of the shear strain and volumetric strain. In vol uh, volumetric strain, their volume will change. Now, draw a stress stress diagram for a mild steel and explain different points. Here we see there are five points. A is, is the uh, proportional limit, B is the elastic limit, C is the end point, D is the ultimate point, and E, the, e is the rupture point. A for, uh, from O to A, e stress is proportional to e strain, that is Hooke's law, that is it, it maintains Hooke's law and then elasticity will lose after B and C is the yield point and yield, yield point is such a point that in that case stress will not increase but strain will increase then a ultimate point will taken uh, into D and will break down in E. Next question is what is true stress and injuring stress? Basically, original cross section and gauge length is called the injuring stress and the internal cross section area and length is called the true stress strain curve. Here we see the curve, the, we, we see injuring stress, the stress curve is become lower than the true stress stress curve now there is uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, definition that's such as strength compressive strength tensile strength plasticity malleability brittleness so strength is the ability to resi resist internal force compressive is uh, with insert before compressive failure ultimate tensile failure is can stand before it breaks it called breaking stress the maximum stress a male can uh, can stand and the plasticity we are, uh, we see that uh, the non reversible changes of shape in the curve a uh, little earlier then we, we, we that portion we, we see that deformation of the solid material and then the malleability deform under compressive load and brittleness the property of meta metal by virtue of which it will fracture without any appreciable deformation now definition is stiffness ductility toughness fatigue hardness stiffness basically basically it's forced by the deformation displacement it, it is called stiffness then the ductility ability of a material to deform under tensile load toughness actually absorb energy and plasticity uh, plastically deformed without fracturing fatigue if we uh, actually we, if we come uh, from uh, ground floor to uh, 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 10th floor in a in a 11 story building then we will will become very tired that position uh, is called actually uh, fatigue for building actually it's occur when a material subject to a uh, subject to cyclic loading and hardness actually it resistance to localize plastic deformation and definition resilience it is the ability of a material to absorb energy when it is deformed elastically and release the energy upon unloading. And the creep actually is it's a term for uh, uh, for deflection, uh, for long term deflection creep will occur. Generally, tendency of a solid material to move slowly or deform permanently under the influence of mechanical stresses. And now draw a stress history diagram for brittle ductile strong and plastic material here we see the brittle material ductility is very low and become break down very fast and then ductile material and then most ductile material what is elasticity of material explain different types of elasticity 
that is uh, modulus of elasticity physical constant obtained from the stress stress ratio that uh, that is uh, which portion maintain hooke's law and the modulus of rigidity can be defined as the ratio of the sharing stress to sharing strain and the bulk modulus the elastic elastic constant expresses the relation shape between the volumetric strain caused by direct forces and now draw a stress stress curve for concrete here we see the uh, stress is uh, a curve for concrete and generally it's uh, it's uh, deformed 0 0.0028 to 0 0.0045 then we we call it generally for 0 0 0.003 and this is the stress curve of concrete and thanks for our slide we will uh, we will come again for next chapter Thank you.